Hey guys, Smurf Destroyer here. In this video, we're going to cover what hacks look like. And basically, I'm making this because, I mean, a lot of people are just interested and also for people who do Overwatch. So before I start this video, I just want to cover a few things. Uh, one is that I'm not going into matchmaking and doing this. I'm just doing this offline with bots. I'm not just going to go into matchmaking and just fucking tear some people up just to make a video. So I'm doing this all in offline with bots. So I'm going to be covering everything from the obvious ones like aimbot and warhack to the not so obvious ones like air stuck and slow motion. Aimbot is the one that most people know and basically it locks onto wherever you set it to. So in this clip I've got it set to lock to head and it will basically move the crosshair instantly towards a player's head. And there's also neck and shoulders options. Now P silent is an interesting one. So what happens on your point of view is that you can basically look anywhere and then when you shoot it will kill the person closest to where your crosshair is or wherever your person is. But if you look from a spectator's point of view, as you can see in this demo here, it's set to 100% speed. It glitches really quickly towards where the closest person is. And here it is on 6% speed, just to see it easier. ESP stands for Extra Sensory Perception, which sounds pretty fucking gay. <laughs> it's typically what people refer to as like, when, when they say wall hack, they're usually referring to ESP. So basically what it does is it sets a box around the enemy player and usually shows their health and maybe even their name. There's a bunch of different settings you can set for this and you can have, like you can have the ESP for players, you can have it for items as well. So if items are on the floor, it can show you and it can show you their name, the weapon they're holding, all kinds of stuff and basically just lets you see them through the wall. Aim accuracy is the section where you can basically change how accurate you are. So there's two main options, which is no recoil and no spread. So usually people will like bundle these into one, but they aren't the same. So if you have no recoil, that doesn't mean all your bullets will go into one place, like exactly where your crosshair is, whether you're moving or not. But if you do combine no recoil and no spread, then, you know, whether you're jumping, whether you're moving, the bullet will always go exactly where the crosshair is. So here's no recoil and here's them both together. There's also like a more quote unquote legit looking version, which is auto recoil. And it will basically move your crosshair exactly so that it will look like you're counteracting the recoil, but it's actually the hack doing it. Aim assistance basically helps you aim. So basically it will just lock onto the head or chest or wherever you set it to. It's basically just an aim bot, but it doesn't automatically shoot for you. I think there is actually an option in there that allows you to put auto shoot on, but there's two or three main different types of aim assistance. So there's smooth aim, and then there's non-smooth aim. And then there's the P silent, which I've covered before. That's basically the same thing. So this is what smooth aim looks like. And as you can see, it just like slowly gravitates towards wherever you set it to. So usually it will be the head. And then depending if you have auto shoot on or not, you can yeah auto shoot or just manually do it. And then this is what non-smooth aim looks like. And this is usually what people look for when they see pros. Like uh, I'll show a clip up now where people accuse pros of hacking and you can see them like their crosshair like going through the wall and onto someone's head or whatever. This is aim assistance usually. And what they do is just they'll just have like a toggle button so when they hold it it will do the aim assistance they'll like hold it for like a brief second or whatever and it'll just like go towards the head and then they'll just let go of it anti-aim kind of works like p silent so from your point of view when you're using it it looks fine but then from the demo it looks like crazy here's the pov from the demo it looks a bit crazy so i'll take it off the screen now so what it does basically is it turns your head away from the enemy and then as soon as you press mouse one, it will you know look where you're actually looking, shoot, and then it will go back to doing the anti-aim. And the idea of it is that it's more difficult to shoot your head when your back's in the way. So it will like turn around and look at the ground and kind of spin a bit as well, just to make it more difficult for the enemy to actually shoot your head. And there's also a spin bot as well, which is similar, just like spins like crazy and looks up and down and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I'm sure most people know Triggerbot, so Triggerbot is where you hold a button, or I mean it can be just on automatically, but usually uh, you can hold a button and then you can set it to whichever, usually it's head. So when you're holding a button and your crosshair goes over someone's head, it will shoot. And then there's also um, 
like some options you can put in like delay or you know just put in some delay for reaction times so it doesn't look like you're blatantly hacking but yeah trigger bot is just basically it will auto shoot on whichever part of the body you set So this hack is called Shams or Shams, I don't know. I think it's short for Chameleon. Basically what it will do is uh, you can set it for your team or the enemy team or both and it will paint them a solid colour basically. Uh, usually Terrans would be red and CTs would be blue. Basically it will just make it so that it's a lot easier to see the enemy player and um, if you turn wall hack on for this then you'll be able to see them through the walls and you know depending on what hack you have uh, there'll be a different colour when you can't see them. Like on this one, you can see the yellow, because I can't see them, and then when I can see them, they turn red. It basically just makes them a lot more visible. Radar will allow you to see the other player on the radar. It's like a drawn box on the screen, and then, yeah, it will show you where. It depends what you set. You can set it for players, I think you can set it for items, uh, hostages, objectives, and that kind of thing. So, pretty simple one. So now we're on the miscellaneous section. So in here there are like a bunch of different ones. So the first one is skin changing, which is pretty obvious. You know, when you have a deagle, it have a certain skin. It doesn't matter with knives as well. It doesn't matter which knife you have. With a lot of skin changes, you have to have like the default vanilla knife. But with this one, you can just have any knife. It'll just change it to whatever. And then whatever skin you want on it as well. Uh, so next we have the knife bot. So whenever you get in range of a player, it'll just automatically knife just as quickly as possible, basically. So the name stealer takes everyone's name on the server and then it will cycle through them one by one and you can set the speed for it as well. There's a clan tag changer, which changes your clan tag to whatever you want. So like you can have pro players, you can have, you can have Valve, you can have all kinds of stuff. You can have hide name, which is pretty obvious. It just hides your name on the scoreboard. You can have fake lag, so it makes you look like you're stuttering around and you've got like really high ping, but on your side, you can see everything fine. So here's what I see on my POV and then here's the demo of it. And this is a B-Hop YouTuber's favourite one, B-Hop script, or I guess just B-Hop hack. You just hold space and it just hits every hop. You just, you're still subject to the speed limit of I think it's 285 and then you get slowed down, but it, you, it just make it so you hit every single hop. There's the edge jumping one, so say if I'm on Mirage and I'm going to do the mid jump, uh, then I can hit it every time because it would just like jump as soon as you're on like the last pixel of the, or the last unit of the edge. It would just automatically jump for you. It's an interesting one to look out for because like if you know that this exists and you see someone jumping on every single edge then uh, you can be pretty sure that they have it. Auto pistol so this will shoot as quickly as possible with the pistol. I show ranks so um, when you hold tab it will show everyone's rank. I can't show you that because I'm in offline with bots so yeah. Alright so now air stuck. What you can do with air stuck is you hold a button down it will just make you freeze basically. So if you jump and you hold the button, you just freeze in the air. You can still look around, but you can't really do much. So when you hold mouse one, uh, even if you are holding the button down, it will unfreeze you from the air for the duration that you're holding the button down. So you can shoot in the air. So I guess this is, this is for like scouts or something. Uh, next one we've got slow motion, which is basically just a version of air stuck and fake lag. Yeah, basically make it so it looks like you're lagging like crazy. And then we have auto strafe. Basically this will make it so that when you're b-hopping, uh, all you have to do is hold space and it will just do the A and D movements for you. And you just have to keep looking left and right and it will just, yeah, strafe for you. So now for the last one we have the other section. So the first one in this section is third person. I'm sure you could guess what that is, it just makes you go in third person. And then there's FOV, which increases or decreases your FOV. And then we've got like four really simple ones, so you've got no flash. No smoke. No hands. And no sky. I'm not sure why you'd use no hands and no sky. I guess it just makes you look like an le edgy hacker, but whatever. And then we've got nade prediction, which is um, pretty shit on this hack. Um, basically, it'll just predict where your grenade's gonna go. So thanks for watching this video and now you're well informed about what hacks are on CSGO. Um, obviously this video isn't to encourage hackers or anything but it's just for education purposes. Obviously I spent quite a lot of time on this video so apologies if there are some mistakes. It should only be minor. I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, subscribe.